Hey there, I'm Jill Brown, and this is workout number five of our eight-part beginner series. Today, we're focusing on total body strength. So what you need is a mat and a nice light pair of dumbbells. So depending on what level you're at, anywhere between one and five will work. Three is on average for most people. All right, let's get started. Feet are hips distance apart or shoulders distance apart. Soft knees, and we'll take a few deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. I'm sure you've got this down by now two and two more here's three and one more oxygenate your body inhale up and exhale down now let's reach and open up those ribs up and up soft knees eight seven six five and stretch four three two and now shoulder rolls back if you like let's start bringing the arms up and thumbs back seven six five four three two and the other way start with your arms at your side if that feels good bring the arms up and do seven more six five four three two one i'm going to turn to the diagonal we're going to do a cat cow stretch hands on your thighs you stick your butt back you keep your spine long hands on your thighs you're going to inhale and exhale blow it out round your back stretch the spine inhale and lengthen exhale and inhale two more times exhale one more back stretch and release roll yourself up and we're going to sit into a hamstring stretch so put one foot in front of you hips tilt back hands on your thighs and just hold that stretch go as low as you can make sure your butt is going back away from your knees to take the strain off your knees and just hold that nice long spine and lift it up step onto that same foot that you were stretching and bring the other leg back and we're gonna do a little warrior position here bring the arms up and sink down and then just hold this lifting breathing getting both legs to work dynamically by just slow bounce up and down activate those thighs keep your spine up tall and hold bring your arms down and back behind you open the chest and step together other side bring the other leg back so now the leg you didn't stretch is in front that's the hamstring butt goes back shoulders back long spine you're kind of making like an angle here like a triangle and hold that come on up step onto that front leg bring the other leg back this is the stretching hip we're going to go into a warrior position arms up bend the back knee make sure the front knee is not passing the toe and then just a little dynamic bounce here activate the legs a couple more and just hold your back heel is off the floor both knees are pointing in the same direction and then bring these arms around behind you open up the front of the shoulders and stretch nice and turn to me go ahead and grab your dumbbells mine match my mat yours don't have to match we're gonna start with a step together so step together now that we've warmed up the legs I don't want you to get cold so we're gonna step together and then do a bicep curl like this step together bicep curl easy as pie step curl step curl now I want you to squat and curl let's do that ten times one squat together two and three four good job keep your spine up hips back chest high and tall and eight almost there nine one more and ten keep the legs apart and we're gonna raise the arms to the side this is called a deltoid raise or a lateral raise you'll hear that again in your workout journey right out to the side so follow me up and hold and let's do ten got it let's go here's one hold and down and two try not to rush I know you just want to drop those weights but don't three now the most important thing is to get the elbows at the same height as the shoulder and here's where it's a mistake people lift the weights it's not about lifting the weights it's about lifting the elbows so see if you can pretend that you're resting on two tables on either side and eight and nine one more and now let's combine those two so let's do a bicep curl like this and then a side lateral raise here we go ten times here's one and two if you can add a little squat three squat is optional four good now keep watching those arms because most people really try to cheat on that shoulder exercise six and seven so arms level with the shoulders eight wrist neutral 
nine. So keep the wrist strong. Don't let them hang down. One more. Good job. That's 10. Roll the shoulders back. They're probably a little tired right now. Let's go to knees while the arms take a rest. So knees up and up and up. Now, we're going to use the arms in a second. They're going to do an overhead press. So it's going back to a little more shoulders. So you just keep the knees moving, get the blood going, and let me show you what this one looks like. We're going to bring the dumbbells up, just lower than the ears and above the shoulders. And when the knee comes up, we're going to press. Got that? Let's do 10 on each side. So alternating right now. One and two. And try not to shrug the neck. Three. Long spine. Four. Get taller. Five. And six. Good. It's getting your heart rate up, right? Seven. Because your heart rate is going up because your muscles are working so hard. That's a good thing. Number nine. Last one on each side. Number 10. And put it down and rest. Do another shoulder roll. You probably need one. Take your feet a little bit wider so we can go into the squat. Remember how we squat? Hips go back and then we sit in that chair. Then we lift up and pull the butt under. Let's warm that up a little bit. Here we go. Hips back. Sit. Lift. Under. Come with me for four. It's just a little warm up. Then we're going to add the arms. So here's where your arms get a little breather. Let's do one more of these. And then on the next one, your arms are going to come up and punch. Here we go. Ten times. Squat and punch me both arms. And squat two and punch me. Try to control those weights from your shoulders and chest. So it's really just like a push-pull. Push forward, pull it in. Now the weights, if you're using ones that are a little heavy for you, whatever that is for you, may want to pull you off balance. So you've got to use your core muscles. Squeeze your glutes. Tighten up your abs. And three more, two, last one, good job. All right, bent over rows. We're going to hinge the hips back. You've learned how to do that already a few times. And we're just going to row. So imagine you're grabbing the oars of a boat. You're going to pull back right by your ribs. So here we go, push, pull, push, pull. Now, it's important that you don't round your back on this. This is what it looks like when it's wrong. Your back is round. That's not really safe for the spine. So we're going to straighten up. Now, once you've got this, I want you to do 10 more because it's not a really hard exercise. Let's do 10 from here. One, two, pull back. Three, use the muscles. Four, between the shoulder blades. Five, six, four more. Seven, eight, last two, nine. We're going to use the legs. Next, stand up tall, roll the shoulders back. Turn your toes out a little bit and give me a nice wide stance. Hands are just going to be in front of you for now, so put the dumbbells together and slowly squat down. This is called a sumo squat. So it looks kind of like a plie if you ever took dance classes as a kid. The really important thing I can't stress enough is the position of your knees. Make sure your knees are not falling in. So look at the sides of your feet, look at your toes, and try to get the knees to go right past your toes. If you're really tight, it might be hard, so you may not be able to go down too low, and that's okay. So feel like you're stretching the inner thighs and engaging the sides of your glutes to keep those knees peeled apart. You got it? You with me? Let's do four more together, just so I know you got it. Three, and then we're going to do a forward raise with the arms. Two, and one. Now the forward raise is going to look like this. Up, down, and sumo squat. Up down and sumo squat. Ready for 10? Let's start on this one. One and two. Abs tight. And three. If you did a few extras, that's okay. Four. If you're going slower, that's okay too. Five. Eventually we'll be on the same page and you're ready to move on. Six. Nice. Seven. Now look where my dumbbells are ending. Right in line with my shoulders. Eight. They're not going up past my head. Nine, one more time, and 10. All right, the next one is another bent over exercise, also for the muscles of the back. That one worked the front of the arms. Now we're gonna work the back of the arms, particularly the back of the shoulders. So go into that bent over position. Back is flat, just like you're doing that deadlift we learned a few workouts ago. Palms are gonna face in. Your back of your hands are gonna come up towards the sky. So look at your hands, make sure your palms are facing down. And let's do 10, brace your abs. One and two, it's working the back of the shoulders. Three, 
so your arms might be getting a little fatigued. Four, you can always put your dumbbells down. Five, no one said you have to keep holding them the whole time, or you can go to lighter ones. Seven, make sure these are really slow. Eight, so we don't get momentum. Nine, one more. And 10, did you get that one? We're gonna be doing it again later on in another workout, so make sure you've learned it. Step forward into a lunge like we did during our warm up. Knee's not gonna overshoot your toe. So get your legs as wide as possible. The back toe can turn out if it helps your stability. And we're gonna lunge forward onto that front leg. So this leg's gonna be nice and active. So it's gonna be working while we're moving the backs of our arms. So triceps this time. Bring your elbows up behind you like this. And we're gonna try to make two straight lines out of our arms like that. Pinkies, see my pinkies pointing up to the sky. Ready, let's do 10, just hold this leg, go. One, and two, and three, squeeze. Four, take your time. Five, you're fighting against gravity. Six, so don't let the gravity pull those dumbbells down. Seven, eight, last two, nine, and one more. 10, you got it, stand up tall. Turn that other toe out. We're back in that sumo position, look at that. And let's just relax the arms for a second and do a few more of those sumo squats. Watch the knees, make sure they go over the toes. So warm this up, and then we're gonna add something I call the V punch. If you're a cheerleader, it might look familiar. We're gonna bring the elbows right next to the ribs, and as we come up, we're gonna punch and make a big V for victory. Let's try 10, ready? Punch, 10, try not to collapse over. And two, long, tall spine. Three, be as tall as you can. Four, and five, you're halfway there, punching out to the corner. Six, look at the corners of your room. Seven, go on a diagonal. Eight, and nine, one more, and 10. Good job, step together. Put one dumbbell down, especially if you have one that's a medium weight, and we're gonna work on wood chops. So, standing with the feet apart, bring the dumbbell out to one hip, and then we're just gonna bring it up to the other hip like we're swinging a golf club. Let's do 10. One, work in the core. Two, hold the ends of the dumbbell like this. Three, and four. Now try not to move your waist. Five, see if you can just move the arms. Six, a little harder, right? To brace the core. Seven, try not to rotate. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. Let's go to the other side. Bring the dumbbell outside the hip and diagonally across the body. 10 times, here we go. One, so automatically your body wants to start to move with it. Try to lock down your body. Three, hold that energy tight. Four, no leaks. Five, so squeeze in, get solid, and just four more of these. Body is still and we're just moving the arm diagonally from one hip over to the other shoulder. Nine, one more, 10. Good, now with some movement. So we're gonna rotate and swing it up. This is a lot more natural. Let's do 10 with the legs going. Here we go. It's one, so it really feels like a golf swing. Two, three. Now your heart's gonna go up a little more. Four, remember why? Because more muscles are moving. More muscles moving means more requirement for oxygen, means the heart's gotta pump a little faster. And that's okay, that's how the, how, how the calories burn. And 10, other side. So nice and natural, bend the knees, bring it out to the side of the leg, and we're gonna rotate up. Here we go, 10 times. And one, and two. Bend the knees and lift, three, four. When you finish, the dumbbell should be just up higher than your head with your arms long. Six, seven, just like you're swinging the golf club. Eight, try not to bend over too far just to be safe for your back. And number 10, great job. Now we're gonna go the other way with no movement. So bring the arms up here and then just slice down and across. Let's just do five of these. Five, from the top slice down, four. From the top slice down and squeeze the abs, three, and tighten up, you can't really see, but you wanna feel just tightness, other way. Start with the dumbbell up in the air and then slowly control it and squeeze down without twisting. One, two, and three. So the abs are working isometrically. Four, trying to stop the body from moving. And five, 
All right, the rest of the workout is gonna be on the floor, but have your dumbbells handy. We're gonna start off with an exercise that is just gonna be abdominal crunches, and then we're gonna use our dumbbells for a lot of the rest of the workout. So let's come on down to the mat, or your floor, or your carpet, whichever you're using. Have a dumbbell handy, and remember how to lie back carefully. You're either gonna lie down on one shoulder, slowly lower yourself to the other one, or just come down together with both arms rolling back. Hands behind the head, and let's begin with just 10 crunches to warm up super slow. Show me how those abs are progressing. Here we go. Exhale, one, and hold. Inhale, and two. So remember all the rules. You're not pushing on your head because you don't want your neck out of alignment. Head's an extension of your spine. You initiate the movement by pulling the ribs down to the hips. Your abs are here, your neck is here. Our focus is here and not from the head and shoulders, so you're not pulling yourself up. Five more. We're working here, not here. If you feel the work here, too much happened in there. Two more, and one. All right, so far so good. Let's take our dumbbell, and now place it across your chest and put your hands on the ends of the dumbbell. Now we're gonna do what's called a weighted crunch. It's just adding a few pounds to your upper body, making the crunch a little harder, and let's do 10 more. Like this, curl up, just like the last ones. One, two, and if your neck starts to strain a little bit, that's normal, not everybody has strong neck muscles. You put a hand behind your head, just like that. Halfway there, five more, one, and two, abs really tight. Three, do it slow, try not to, try, try not to crash to the mat and 10. Excellent. Take your dumbbell and follow me. We're gonna do an oblique crunch. So we're gonna try to take the dumbbell and bring it out to the side of the leg. So we're reaching over towards that knee and then coming right back to where we started. So dumbbell on the chest and reach for your knee 10 times. Let's do the one closer to me, because I'm watching. Here we go, one and down, two. Notice how one shoulder's coming off the mat and the other shoulder's staying on the floor. So the side that I'm going to is the side that stays down. The side that's reaching across is the side that's coming up. And four more. Three more. Hang in there. Two more. Keep those feet on the floor. And now to the other side. Same thing, reach to the opposite knee. One. Notice my shoulder coming off the mat on one side. Other side stays down. And four. Got that? And five. Anytime you want to put the dumbbell down, of course you can. I won't stop you. You're only going to get stronger with every workout. Two more. And nine. One more. And ten. Good job. Next, we're going to take both dumbbells. So I'm going to grab my knee, pull myself up carefully, and take both dumbbells in my hands. Lie down very slowly, very carefully. Bring your hands up overhead. Plant your feet back down to the floor. And this exercise is an overhead row. We're gonna put the two dumbbells together and we're gonna just reach back behind the head, slight bend in the elbows, but we're really focusing on the muscles around the shoulder blade and actually around the rib cage. So pull up and over. You're gonna end with your hands just about over your rib cage or your sternum. So let's do 10, reach back and pull. If your dumbbells are really light, this might feel pretty easy. That's okay, because harder stuff will be coming up next, you bet. And pull, so take a deep breath in, and exhale on the way up, and we got five more halfway there. Please do these slow. And three more after this one. Ah, eight, nine, one more. Keep those ribs engaged for me, and 10. Keep the dumbbells up, bring your knees up one at a time. Remember that dead bug exercise that I'm so crazy about? Well, now we're gonna do it with the overhead row. So put the dumbbells together, and this one requires a little coordination, so watch me. I'm gonna lower my arms and my foot together, and then back up. You can touch the mat if you like. Here we go. So one leg and two arms, and pull. Let's do 10, and nine. Abs super tight, eight, and seven. It's like you're wearing a really tight jacket. Six, and you don't want to pop the buttons or the zipper. So you're bracing your ribs halfway there. Five more. There's one. And two. And three. That equals eight. I'm counting. Last two. One more. Super slow. 
And last one. Good job. Bring your knees down carefully one at a time. You can put one dumbbell down or you can use both for this. We're going to put the dumbbell right below the belly button across between the two uh, hip bones. Lift your toes up off the floor. Make sure your feet are in line with your knees and your hips so that your knees aren't knocking together. And we're going to do the hip ridge. So lift the hips up and squeeze your glutes and then tap down 10 times. Here we go. And one. Come down to the floor or only halfway down. Two. You'll keep the tension on if you don't all if you don't touch the floor all the way. Three. So look, I'm only coming halfway down now. Four. And slow. Five. You love this exercise by now, right? And we're at seven. Super tight butt cheeks. And eight. And nine. One more. And ten. All right, I'm gonna make this one level harder. We're actually gonna put the dumbbell down, believe it or not. Bring one foot a little closer to your bottom and the other one on the knee. So it looks like we're gonna do that uh, glute stretch that we've done before, but we're not. We're actually gonna lift our hips up off the floor with one leg on the other knee. So here we go 10 times, and it's one, come down, and two, come down, three. So what this does is it isolates one glute and hamstring, so you get stronger, faster by doing one leg at a time. Seven, eight, nine, you should feel that burn by now. 10, and down, switch sides. Put this heel on the opposite knee, lift the toe up on the foot that's on the floor, and here we go, 10 times with one leg. One, and down, two. If you need to rest in between, go ahead. You can put your butt down on the floor and rest. Four, if not, just almost touch the floor. Five, and come right back up. Six, and six. Seven, eight, you got it. Nine, you made it this far. That's the last one. Well done. We're gonna roll onto our side and do some side leg lifts. So just roll over and I talked about this in an earlier video in case you forgot. The best position for your spine is to just be in neutral, cradle your head so your body looks like one of those mattress commercials. But for the sake of doing this video and talking to you, I'm gonna come up here. So if you do decide to follow me, the perfect form is to have the elbow under the knee, your arms in the letter L, and to please make sure that you don't sink into your neck and shoulders. That's gonna put some strain there. So you gotta keep the muscles elongated. We're gonna put a dumbbell on the side of the thigh as low as you can or just halfway down. We're gonna lift the leg up and down 10 times, point the toe to the floor and lift one and two. To add more pressure, three, just push on the weight gently. Four and five and six, seven, focus on keeping the spine straight, eight, nine, 10. Well done. We're gonna switch the legs around and do the inner thigh. So the top leg is gonna bend, Bottom leg is gonna straighten, see how easy that was? And then put the dumbbell on the inside of the thigh and hold it in place. Halfway down the thigh or a little closer to the knee is harder. Lift up and down for 10, find your balance. Nine, eight, seven. You should feel the inner thigh starting to burn. And four, three, two. One more time and we're gonna switch sides, good. So usually we do about 10. If you ever feel like you wanna go a little bit faster and do some more reps, as long as you don't bounce, I don't mind if you take it up to 12. And obviously if you need to do a few less, you'll eventually get to 10 with me. So take it at your own pace and don't feel like you have to do all 10 or you can also take it a little faster. Top leg is gonna extend, bottom leg is gonna bend, dumbbell's gonna come about halfway down the thigh or towards the knee, makes it feel a little bit heavier. Point the toe down and begin. 10 lifts, one, nice and slow. Sometimes doing the exercise slower is actually harder. When you bounce, it actually makes it easier. So if you're doing more than me, maybe you're cheating just a little, I hope not. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10, well done. All right, let's switch that to the inner thigh. So we bring this knee up, that leg out, put the dumbbell on the inner thigh, and let's begin. 10 lifts, nine, stabilize your body, try not to roll back, eight, and seven, six, five more. Feel the inner thigh burn, if not, put a little pressure on it. Last three, stay stable, two, last one. Ah, oh, great job. All right, so we're gonna move the dumbbells out of the way. 
and we're gonna do some ab work. So I'm gonna flip around this way, and we're gonna do something called a Pilates half roll down. Feet are gonna be in line with your knees, knees in line with your hips and all that business. Hands on your shins. Squeeze your abdominals in, just like you're deflating a button. Round your body, and then we're gonna let go and just roll down part way. When you feel tension, stop, and then bring yourself back up. Straighten your spine, sit on your sit bones, and lengthen up. So let's try six of those. Roll halfway down. If you can let go, please do, and then lift up. What I don't want you to do is lay all the way down on the floor and take a nap. Not nap time yet. We're getting close. Soon. Tuck your tailbone under so you can smoothly roll down. Four. Squeeze. Keep this engaged the whole time. Tighten all the way up down to your belly button. And one more time. Don't go so low that you get stuck on the floor. And six. Excellent. Let's go into our Russian twist exercise. What's that? All right, we're gonna go side to side. It's like the wood chops, only alternating side to side. So it'll look familiar once you get started. Sitting up tall, holding your dumbbells on the ends, we're gonna bring it down to the right side, up and over to the left side. Kind of looks like you're paddling a canoe. It's similar. So let's do 10 side to side. Ready? Here's one, up, and two, up and over. If this is too hard with your dumbbell, you're gonna bend it in like this and put it across your chest, leaning just back ever so slightly. That's five and six. If you're getting more advanced, because you've done this a few times, seven, the arms are extended. Eight, almost there. Nine, don't let your feet off the floor. Keep those abs super tight. Last one. Whew. I know it's a hard one, it's the first time we did it, and you made it. Sit up tall, put the dumbbell down, meet me on all fours for quadruped. Hands right under the shoulders, straight lines, knees in line with your hands, so they're right under those hips, and we're gonna reach out the right arm and the left leg, and remember that? We've been working on this. Hold and balance, and now we're gonna tap the floor, that's nice, and bring it back up. Six times, there's one. Tap the floor and lift. So the secret is to find your balance using your core muscles. Four, five, and go to that tabletop. Now hold this last one for me. Just hold, please, and smile. Let it shake a little. That's how you know it's working. And down, other side. Reach out the opposite arm and leg. Lift it up and hold. And let's do six taps to the floor. Tap down and lift. Ideally, we want the fingers and the foot to tap at the same time. There's three. Remember to go slow on these. Four. This exercise does not work fast. It's only effective slow. And hold, 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 hold. And that's it. You're done. Great job. Let's go to our stretches. Let's do the mermaid. So we're gonna bring both feet to one side, this hand up over here, lift up nice and tall and do a beautiful side bend up and over. Now put this hand on the shin, and this is the harder stretch. Side bend, butt cheeks on the floor, and let's do two more. Reach it over, lengthen, go to that wall, up and over, go to the other wall, and one more time. Reach away, and this side. From here, let's stretch the shoulder. Take this arm across your body, pull it in. Hold, please. <laughs> and I told you I need someone to write my jokes for me. They're not funny, I know. And bring it back behind your head. Now, you can't see this hand, but I'm actually trying to reach between my shoulder blades. Like I have an itch I want to scratch. And we're just gently pushing back that elbow. And then we're gonna switch sides. Bring your knees this way. So both knees are kind of pointing in the same direction. One leg across the front, this hand on the floor. We're gonna go away from the feet. Up and over, lengthen. Can you see why it's called the mermaid? It's kind of obvious. And reach it over. I guess if I was gonna name it, I'd call it that too. One more, here's number three. And up and over. Good, and that was it. Let's go to a shoulder stretch. Bring this arm across, gently pull from just above the elbow. You can also reach back if you like. I like to keep my arm straight, I feel a little more there. See what feels better for you. And now we're gonna take it to the tricep, back of the arm. 
reach back like you have an itch between your shoulder blades, you're trying to scratch it, and we're gently pressing the elbow back. Lift the head up nice and tall. Nice job. And let's do some leg stretches. So let's try some seated ones today. Change things up a little bit from what we've been doing. Sitting up tall, if you need to bend your knees a little bit, no problem. We're gonna reach the arms up, try to keep the legs long, and then just slowly come over your toes. Now, it might not be possible to reach your toes today, so what you'll do is you'll just reach up, put your hands on your thighs, and just crawl yourself down. Your flexibility is something you kinda have to deal with your DNA about, because sometimes your flexibility really came from your parents. I just have naturally flexible hamstrings, but there's a lot of other parts of my body not so flexible. And lift it up. Now, an inner thigh stretch, so we're gonna straddle the legs out. If your dumbbell's here, and it's got smooth, round edges, we'll just roll the dumbbell out and take it to a nice inner thigh stretch. Now, if your feet are flopping out, see if you can turn them up, and just find the straddle stretch that works for you. See if you can lean the body a little forward. Some people can't go there either. Again, a lot of this is DNA, it's genetic. You're born with a certain amount of flexibility, so there's really only so much that you can do yourself. And that's okay. It's all good. It'd be boring if everybody was the same and roll it up. Let's bounce the legs together, crisscross them, take a nice big restorative breath up, inhale, exhale. And guys, you are great. I hope you had half as much fun as I did doing workout five of the eight part series. This one was all about total body strength. Until next time, I'm Jill Brown.